Pastor Hart again, and today is Monday. My, this time has gone by very quickly. But let's have prayer together this glorious Monday morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we look to you and we give you thanks for keeping us throughout this week, this past week, and the past night. And Lord, this is a new week, and we are looking to thee, Lord, for guidance, for instructions, for wisdom, and above everything else, blessings. So we trust, Heavenly Father, that you are going to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. We're so glad that you are with us. And remember our devotions, the spirit of Christ and the spirit of Antichrist. John said in his letter, this is the last time. And beloved, we are in the last time, the last days. We do not know when the rapture of the church will take place. This is the most closely guarded secret in heaven. But we are going to have to be mindful of this and we are going to have to be prepared. And so we are looking at the spirit of Christ and the spirit of Antichrist. I would like to read that passage of scripture for you again from the book or from the epistle of John. And chapter 4, he says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are entered into the world. Hereby know we the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And note with me, because this is very important. Every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God, but is that spirit of Antichrist. And beloved, we know the spirit of Antichrist is already in the world. So we have to be mindful of that. We spoke of pride and rebellion. We spoke of jealousy and greed and corruption, and those are the spirits of Antichrist, because the spirit of Christ is humility and obedience, and the spirit of Christ is contentment. So those, that's just a recap of what we, are, what we have done. Now we want to share with you what will take place today, Monday. So we want you to listen very carefully and pay close attention because this is so very important for us. The spirit of Christ and the spirit of Antichrist. Another set of the spirit of Antichrist, and this is what we want to share with you, and listen very carefully. The spirit of Antichrist. Rage, violence, abuse of women, abuse of children, and even seniors. This is the spirit of Antichrist, and it is already in the world. So we have got to be mindful of this, because the spirit of Christ is peace. The spirit of Christ is peace. God wants to give peace to every person here. He wants to give peace to every born-again believer. And I'll tell you this, every child of God has peace. But do we, do we really manifest peace in our lives? There are times when the spirit of Antichrist takes a hold of the believer and the believer gets into a rage. And what happens? We have to confess that as a sin to Almighty God and ask Him for His peace. Peace. This is what He has come to give. Not as the world gives. 
because the world gives a false sense of peace, the Lord Jesus gives real peace. So we want you to take a hold of the Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of Christ. Peace in your own spirit. And we are going to hear the scriptures in relation to that peace. Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And again in Leviticus 26 and verse 6, I will give peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. I will rid the land of evil beasts, and the sword will not go through your land. Gracious Father, we come in Jesus' name again. And Lord, we are thankful that you have heard us. And Lord, we ask in Jesus' name that you will give us a spirit of peace. Lord, this world needs a spirit of peace right now because there is so much rage so much violence and even even in our own little country there is so much rage and lord we are asking in jesus name that the spirit of peace settle upon us settle upon this world settle upon our country settle upon each believer in jesus name we pray with thanksgiving amen Listen in again for our devotions, and we trust that you will be with us. And if there is something that you need to share with us, you just give us a call. And the numbers are on the screen, so just give us a call, and God bless you real well.